Cheese. And you're going to put a couple of sugar cubes in there, maybe about four, four sugar cubes. Excuse me. And we're here at the Great Ward A in Congress Heights at the Pink Palace. Mr. Dale, can you tell us why you, your family, left Northwest Washington and moved to Anacostia? What caused them to settle there? Yeah, well, Uniontown was already settled when we came. The Indians were living there at that time. And then they changed the name from Uniontown to Anacostia. The only reason I can give you is that at that time, Washington was practically white, and most of the colors that were there were in Washington at that time were ex-slaves, and their being in Washington was the reason that Anacostia, or Bear Farm, was finally found, and they were moved out and moved over to Anacostia. We are entering the third century of the pursuit of American Union. 200 years ago in 1765, nine assembled colonies first joined together to demand freedom from arbitrary power. 100 years ago in 1865, following a terrible test of blood and fire, the Compact of Union was finally sealed. The story goes that General Howard in the army came over to this area south of Anacostia and he bought ground from a man by the name of Barry and they decided to send Negroes over there. There wasn't nothing there in that whole area up to St. Elizabeth. There wasn't a dozen houses. After he came over and surveyed and decided, recommended that the government buy this property, they begun sending the ex-slaves from Washington out there to settle. The government gave each ex-slave $200, enough to build two rooms, and he was supposed to pay that money back, I guess, because no ex-slave at that time had any $200, I don't think. For a second century, we labored to establish a unity of purpose and interest among the many groups which make up the American community. That struggle has often brought pain and violence. It is not yet over. All that ground was owned by Negroes on Howard Road, Sumner Road, Stevens Road, Nichols Avenue from uh, Talbot Street up to St. Elizabeth, and then going east, Sheridan Road, Stanton Road, Alabama Avenue, was all Negroes. But we have achieved a unity of interest among our people that is unmatched in the history of freedom. And so tonight, now in 1965, we begin a new quest for union. We seek the unity of man with the world that he has built, with the knowledge that can save or destroy him with the cities which can stimulate or stifle him, with the wealth and the machines which can enrich or menace his spirit. We seek to establish a harmony between man and society which will allow each of us 
to enlarge the meaning of his life and all of us to elevate the quality of our civilization. This is the search that we begin tonight. We shall be